Okay, guys, Multigamer T here bringing you How to Survive. This game was published by 505 Games and developed by Equal Software. This year, this game came out like three hours ago, I believe. So, it's gonna be kind of fun. This is a top down zombie survival esque game thing. Like if you picture Diablo with its down, down top, top down gameplay, it's kind of like that, but like with zombies and you survive. There's a lot of create customization and other stuff in it. It is also online, so you can play with a friend if you want to. Um, we're gonna play the story mode, and I tried to record this like 10 minutes ago with with Abby. That's why it says three percent. So I'm not going to use Abby this time, I'm going to use Jack. And when I recorded it last time, it didn't work because for some reason she wouldn't turn around and the paddle I was using, because the game does not work, it's not optimized right now with the keyboard. Mayday! 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 This is Scarborough VL284! Opposition, two nautical miles southwest of Los Riscos Island. We require immediate assistance. Our controls are out. Visibility, four. Mayday! 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 This is the Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Scamper VO2841. Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Channel 16. Your trajectory is five. Keep your course. Over. Coast Guard, please confirm. Brief right ahead. That doesn't sound good at all. At R. some of them, but look, bastards bit me. Listen, I know there are medicinal plants around here. You gotta bring me one. It should ease the pain. Please, be quick. I'm bleeding. Music's nice, but you don't need it super loud. It was just after I got this next mission that she went around, so let's Hey, my name's Andrew. I'm not sure how I ended up here. It's a little hazy. This place, it's a nightmare. A living nightmare. I'm one of a small group of survivors. It's been about a week since we tried and failed to escape these islands. It seems impossible to get off. Many of us have died. 
devoured by these damn monsters. Right now, my friend Ramon is all I've got left. The rest are either dead or walking dead. Ramon is injured and can hardly move. I, I left him close to our boat while I went to find fuel. Please find him. Tell him that I'm injured and stuck here. You you'll find him on the beach, on the east side of the island. Listen, be careful. Really careful. The island is swarming with these fucking monsters. Here, take this stick. You'll need it to survive. Alright, that works. Um, for some reason the sound didn't actually apply for some reason. I don't know why. Be a little louder. I think it's because I hit circle instead. Um... Greetings! If you are reading this, you are probably afraid for your life. You will be lost and hungry, and if you have not already, you will soon encounter the many zombies who live here. Please, stay positive. The situation is desperate, but not lost. Thanks to my survival guide, you will get through this. My guide is a thorough training program to help you survive the most extreme environments. It contains all you need to combat the zombies. Good luck, and see you soon, survivor! Remember, unarmed combat is useless against these monsters. Always use a weapon! So, don't punch zombies, gotta... So, Abby. I am using a PlayStation controller. I'm using a like emulator to map my PlayStation controller like an Xbox is. Well, using the Xbox controller to map my PlayStation to a PlayStation controller. So it, it it's complicated. Don't know. Healing poultice. Which is, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Which is like healing bandage of some sort. If it stings, it's working. Heals 150%. So, those are blueprints. You get this throughout the game. They uh, will help you build things like shotguns um, and other. I'm gonna keep hitting A for some reason. I don't know why. Well, at the wells, you can drink. So, you we don't have that yet. I think I did. I can heal myself, but I don't remember how. I think it was a glitch with uh. Kovax rules. Chapter one: Close combat. Here are some basic rules you have to keep in mind when you have to confront a monster during close combat. Use the right stick to aim. You still can move while aiming. 
Hold your strike to increase its damages. Press the A button when kill appears above a hurt monster to make an instant kill. That's great. Perfect. I hope I get that skill later on. Um, like it's, I, I think I said earlier that the game is based on the book. I think the game is based on the book. So based on the tutorial in the game. So I don't think they're going to be based on what they're saying here because in the books, I think it's based on the game. I think in the book there was an island and people that travel. I'm not a hundred percent certain. I haven't read the book. But I'm pretty sure it's real correct in the comments below if I'm wrong. Or, what I can do better yet, I can fill up the bottle with some, uh, you can't kill it, but I have to hit it, what did you, Ooh, wrong button, it's left trigger, there we go, left trigger is how you use items in your, Survivor means to have injuries, yet live. So, if you get injured, and you will, do not fear. Help is at hand. The islands are full of medicinal plants to treat your wounds. Eating these plants will help you to regain your health. For more serious wounds, put the leaves in a cloth to make a poultice. Finally, I have left some presents for you. The med kits are powerful gifts. They will fully heal you in a flash. Just so, never give up Die and monsters. fight! I don't think that's capable of doing that. He's a flint. Settings in this game is literally you can choose low, high, or low. That's the only setting that's high right now. So, those are the only settings that you get. I mean, you can change the resolution, screen resolution. Like hey, who are you? And where's Andrew? You met Andrew? Well, where is he? Oh, shit, that's terrible news. Yo, if they bit him, yeah, it's all over. It's only a matter of time. He's gonna turn into a monster too. Yeah, I got bit too. That's why I cut my leg off. Well, my own leg. 
I had no choice. I went out of here alive. So what about you? Have any teeth marks to declare? <laughs> no. Wait, and you got here, what, with just a stick? <laughs> I'm impressed. Listen, if Andrew's bitten, then I'm shit out of luck. You've got to help me. But look, I can, I can help you too. I know how to survive. Come on, we can work together. You and I. Here, take this. You got a whole heap of shit ahead of you. If you want to stay alive, you're going to have to use it. Comprende? Yo, it's kill or be killed. Yo, I can attack, papa. Okay. Follow me. Night's about to fall, and I got a favor to ask you. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm so confused, that guy. Not be racist, but he sounds black. I'm not trying to be racist at all, but he talks just like my friend does. your abilities throughout your trip. To do this, open your inventory and go to the skill screen. There are many abilities that you can acquire thanks to the experience you build up during your adventure. The first one allows you to light up campfires. <laughs> so we can barbecue some zombies. I don't think that would be very tasty. I'm just saying. I see there's a fire there right here. Light. Here's the plan. Last week, on another island, we found an old air tanker. It's damaged, but we could repair it and escape. Boats can get us island to island, but by air. That seems to be the only way out of here. Andrew's mission was to find gas for the plane. This is your job now. Problem is, night is coming. And you need to know... Well, some really freaky creatures come out only at night, along with the, the other monsters. These... These creatures are vile and really aggressive. They only attack when it's dark and hate bright lights, so at least you can use that against them. I'll give you my personal flashlight to go to the village. Or can I ask you to light me the campfire just here? Great. Thank you. This should be enough to keep them at bay. As promised, here's my flashlight. If they come after... Aim the light at them, and they will stay away for a while. Okay? Alright, good. Let's get back to the real issue. The gasoline. Rules. Kovac, Chapter 4. 
survival by night. Beware! Another kind of monster appears at night. There are many of these, and they are aggressive. But they hate the light. You can easily keep them at bay with a torch. Or a flashlight. When you sense night coming on, check for your flashlight. You won't want to be caught without it in the dark. Uh, uh, two. So, number one, don't sneeze. Got it. That is the lesson I took from that. Well, that's new. I don't know what I need for that. It says I need something, but I don't. I don't see like. It doesn't say what they are. I see the two flowers, but I don't know what the flowers are. Like, is that like a daisy and then like a diamond? and arrows. The bow is the simplest distance weapon you can create. And the quietest. Select a flexible branch, then combine it with a reel of twine. For arrows, combine a wooden stick with your machete. Making arrows is easy, but getting them back is even easier. So always collect them after a fight. No matter where they are stuck. Well, that's unpleasant. Wooden longbow, all right. Right here. Uh, 
fire thing right here somewhere. Ah! <sighs> 
Well done. I have to say, I didn't even think you survived. That you proved me wrong, Don Nuno. This can of gas should be enough to get us out of here. <laughs> Shit. Look. There may be another survivor. We'll see who it is. I'll prep the boat to take us to the air tanker. Don't worry. I'll be ready by the time you get back. So you are alive! After all that commotion in the village, I expected to see you dead. But you're alive. Good! Trying to break into one of my huts was not a good idea. I think you realize this now. So, how did you end up in this living hell? Can you remember? No problem. It's the same for me. All a haze. I'm Kovac. Nice to meet you. Don't be alarmed by the... Get up. Just a kind of protection, you know? I've been on these islands for several weeks. I know a little about survival. So I built a simple shelter on a neighboring island. You look a little uh, unprepared, but don't worry. Jump in my boat. I will teach you some basic rules of survival. You'll be dead for sure without them. No offense. But 
strong melee weapon, its weight may makes the charging time longer. So we can take this boat, which is what he wanted us to take, so to Labeda Island. I think that's what that says. Labenda Island. Not very good with that font. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Come to me, please. A good host. Welcome to Kovac Land. If I knew I had company, I would have cleaned up a little. As I said, it's basic, but it's been enough to help me survive. So far. Anyway, let's get started. You've got a lot to learn and not a lot of time, so pay attention. Survivor! No time to take a stroll! Hey, Survivor! No time to take a stroll! Stroll! <sighs> you think these mutant zombies are your worst enemies? You are your own worst enemy. Look at you! Skin all shriveled, muscles weak, hands shaking. This isn't a zombie's fault, it's your fault! When was the last time you ate? I know. Now you think about it, it's obvious. You have to eat. That's the topic of the sixth chapter of my book. In time, you will thank me for this advice. But first, you've got to get some food. I'm not going to just give it to you, though. You've got to fend for yourself. You can find plenty of food around here, once you know how to spot it. For instance, see those woods? There are plenty of roots to eat in there. Try, go towards the headland. Find two or three roots to eat. You will feel better right away. If you need more information, just refer to my book. Each chapter gives you critical information, which will help keep you alive. Be vigilant. Infected soldiers may be in this area. Understand? They are hungry too. So, kill them before they kill you. Oh, buddy! I'm here!
Rules. Chapter 6. Eating. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about eating. Lack of food means no energy, and no energy means you won't have the strength to fight zombies. In this environment, you can find many roots to eat. You can also fish, and you can hunt for meat. Never ever eat uncooked meat. It will kill you. Uncooked meat here is full of many deadly parasites. Always cook meat before eating. Finally, remember that fresh meat is a magnet for predators around here. Fresh meat will attract zombies. You have been warned. better good you must remember to eat food is strength and strength is survival follow me you still have more to learn a lot more if you don't mind me saying so the second thing hydration in other words Drink water. Lots of it. Without water, you won't be able to run, and your performance will be poor. So remember, drink. Chapter 7 of my guide refers to thirst. If I do say so myself, this survival guide of mine, you can't live without it. <laughs> Here, Chapter 7. It's all in there if you need a refresher. No pun intended. <laughs> Okay, Welcome. time for you to quench your thirst. There is an old well on the northwest of the island. Find it, take a drink, and come back. The water there is pure. No zombie juice in it. <laughs> Joking aside, be careful. Wild animals roam there. They think the water is theirs and theirs alone.
Rex rules. Chapter 7. Drinking. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about drinking. Symptoms from lack of water include dizziness and headaches. This will affect your ability to concentrate and make critical decisions. Do not drink from the sea. It causes dehydration. Well, everybody knows that, my friend. Do not drink from the swamp. It is riddled with disease. <laughs> find fresh water wells and store as much as you can. You will find many containers here. Use them to store water. You will find some fresh fruit growing. You can eat this, but be careful about how much. A survivor with the shits is not the best. That's fine. Ah, shield potion. seem breathless. Clearly you found trouble as well as water. Far for the course, my friend. Which reminds me, you need to learn how to make your own equipment. Come, my workshop is just here. Rules. Chapter 8. Handmade Guns. You must improvise to survive. It is possible to create your own weapons using spare parts and other tools. The better your weapon, the better your chances of killing the zombies. You can and should combine found objects to create deadlier weapons. To make a shotgun, select a harpoon grip from your staff. Choose Combine and select the Diving Tank. You now have a new item, but it is not a complete weapon. Combine this item with a flared tube and next with a hardware box. You have created your very own shotgun. For ammunition, metal scrap found on dead bodies will be okay. There are many ways you can combine items, but choose wisely. Oh, 